Fam, if you're into cologne, perfume, fragrance, whatever you choose to call it, if you like to smell good, you have to try one of these fragrances on this list. Just try it, no, just do it, man. The beautiful thing about perfumery is that from the novice to the expert, you can get a little bit of something out of these 10 scents that I'm featuring in this video. Because I personally feel that these are 10 fragrances that every perfume lover must try out. And what fragrances are these? Well, let's roll my music so I can put you on to those scents right now. <laughs> Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. See to the U to the B to the A. These are just ones you at least have to sample. I feel like they all have their own individual sex appeal and uniqueness to them that I think anybody from beginner to pro can truly enjoy and find something absolutely beautiful in these fragrances. I can pretty much tell you that none of these fragrances have shitty performance. I don't find any of them to be boring in the traditional sense. And to be honest with you, they're all pretty unique and will probably smell different from anything else in your collection except maybe one of them, but you never know. Starting off with Memo's African Leather. A staple in my collection, one of my top three most favorite leather fragrances in the game because you can't pull off an all-spice cardamom patchouli scent in leather like Memo's African Leather. An absolutely standout masterpiece that I've literally taken off the cap and while moving this in descriptive manner, like all Latinos do. If you shake it more than twice, you're playing with it. <clears throat> I'm just getting wafts of this fragrance and it's literally shivering down my spine as we speak. A staple piece that must be worn fall and winter every year at least once, which never happens. I have to wear it at least three times. It's phenomenal, delicious, amazing, beautifully unique, so rich in spices. The cardamom here is ridiculous. The allspice nature, the leather is remarkable. It's a beautiful combination of sweet and spicy and rich and absolutely gorgeous when it comes to the leather space just speaking facts memo african leather you must must try it next one. i mean if we're gonna be talking about fragrances that you must try we have to add masterpieces to the list right this one is an absolute masterpiece royal tobacco by amouage is an incredible remarkable ass Astronomical work of perfumer. Licorice tobacco, beautiful pipe tobacco, smoking jacket wearing pipe tobacco, smoking playboy bunny-ish having. Uh, you want performance? Check. You want unique? Check. Likeability? Check. Incense, Middle Eastern vibe, incredible tobacco, sexy, jaw-dropping, panty-dripping, absolute fire fragrance. Check, 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 check. <sighs> I feel like this fragrance was cultivated for me at one point in my life. This is so uniquely beautiful and still slept on because it's got a pretty high price tag. And something of this caliber, personally for me and only for me, commands that type of, well, great market pricing. I don't play retail for anything. I'm just saying, you gotta do a discount somewhere. But please don't deprive yourself at least sample. Don't trust me, trust your skin. And don't deprive your pH, your pores, your epidermis from trying something so gorgeous like Royal Tobacco. Run to a Neiman, what is it, an hour and change away from you? Go in there and walk your ass out if you want. Just try it. Just try it. Oh, Royal Tobacco. Yeah, you need it next. When it comes to ambery fragrances, this one has so much layers. I feel that every time that I've worn this fragrance, I get a little something different every single time. It had a hype for a minute, probably because of my channel and because of my wife, because Serge Lutain Chergy is an absolute gorgeous terrific piece of perfumery. Another fall and winter fragrances, that's kind of what my taste level is. Fall, winter, ambery, deep, rich scents. And this is no exception. Look at the color of the juice in here. It's damn near pitch black like my soul. <laughs> But what you're getting here is a hayish kind of note, like barnyard hay, like you're watching a western and the tumbleweed is just rolling across you. Barnyard hayish amber incensey smell that is beautiful. The joint just teleports you to another stratosphere of perfumery. And once that fragrance is just lingering in the air and starts to just settle on the skin, you're gonna get this beautiful blast of Johnson & Johnson baby powder all over the place. Then you're gonna get these light florals. The incense always stays throughout the actual 
actual scent profile. And based on that level of tobacco, you start to get the sticky resinous element of honey. It is a beautiful piece of fragrant scented water to lay on your chesticles. Please try this fragrance out and see if it's your type of energy. It may not be for everybody, but it's absolutely worth a test. Trust me, next one. You ever took a red apple and made a bowl out of it while you were smoking your little Mary Jane out of it? If you're talking about a cord red apple essence with wild smoke and incredible 10 plus hour easy performance, you must be talking about Smoky Jazz by Primera Parfums. This joint, red apple, a bunch of spices. There's a little bit of a fruity nectarine kind of peaches energy in this scent with an incredible cedar underlying essence. The woods, the apple, it's almost pulpery for men, if that were a thing. The aromatics in this fragrance are absolutely beautiful, extraordinarily balanced. And then in the air, you start to smell these wafts of like barrel aged, bourbon, like it's so pretty, so handsome, so decadent, so rich, so photorealistic on that apple, like that cord apple, you can almost taste the shit. In this fragrance, they knocked it out of the park and with these fragrances, it's kind of like a two sprayer, three max, and you'll be chilling. You don't want to bombard yourself with scent. Just trust me, those little sprays in the air, I'm swallowing them right now and Lord knows what it's doing to my lungs. And esophagus. I think I'm getting the black lung pop. The shit is diesel, but Smoky Jazz is definitely one that you have to keep on your radar because not many people are up on this gem. Next one. This is a newer acquisition in my collection and I'm already trying to tell y'all, yo, you must try it because as I recently got it, it's already been phenomenal off of my skin. An incredible tobacco rose with this underlying oody sensation by BDK. Tobac Rose. Talk about a juicy plum with a crazy black and mild cigar. You got a beautiful, crisp, damn near dewy, wet, wet rose and gorgeous amount of spices ranging from like allspice, a sprinkle of cardamom, slight nutmeg, and then you're gonna scrape on a little red pepper. Sexy as shit. Smooth, silky, opulent. It's like you took oud, satin mood and just added that extra plum juiciness and more spices. Refined Alignment, soft sophistication, red rose petals on the silk sheet, full romantic. Late night, man, man. When we make girl love, listening to some Marvin Gaye all night long. That kind of like, mm, I'm gonna pull that weave off your head. You gotta be kidding me. <clears throat> I digress. An absolutely beautiful piece of perfumery that you must try. No kickiness on this channel. Next one. With me, the nastier, the better. Another new acquisition in my channel. Oh my God. I don't know why the other fragrances have hype and sand dance by Stefan Umbart Lucas does not have hype. It better be because people haven't smelled this amber phenomenal scent, at least per my taste. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is so good. This shit is so good. Two simple notes. Whiskey and chocolate. This is giving Black Phantom a run for their money. Fam, listen closely. Please, just try it. Just try it. That's all I'm gonna say. Try it. Stop questioning me. Come get some. Try sand dance. If you can get a sample of it, try it. It's not cheap. None of these joints are cheap. This isn't the cheapest video. I'll bring you that next, but this shit is crazy. Next one. I'm gonna get some hate for this fragrance on this video, but the fact that it's good, it's good. The fact that it gets compliments on me, I'll take it. The fact that it separates itself from the original shadow being cast by its big brother, Aventus Absolute is really damn good, man. It is good. It's It, it fits my skin. It fits my style. The cinnamon essence here that's in this fragrance really just makes it something beautiful, more complex, more interesting than Aventus to me now. Everybody gets hyped off Aventus the first time that they smell it. It's a, it's a beautiful scent. Let's keep it real. But we smelled so many variations, so many batches, performance issues, etc, etc. When this one came out, I had less than high hopes for this joint to be any kind of good. And it really is. It does fit me. It seems to be a dumb reach for me. It smells very handsome. It's extremely versatile. And yo, if it works, it works. Some people are going to shit on it. Some people are like, I just can't deal with Creed. Yo, I get it 1000%. But when something is good, I'd be repressed to say that, yo, listen, I get it, but try this shit and then we'll talk. Cause you know, we can't hate just cause we haven't tried something. Although I do it all the time. Next one. You got me. Caught me out of left field 
Kayali, that sugared patchouli bobble, the rum in here, the sweetness, the musk in this fragrance is candela pura, papa. This little orangey citrus tinge that's in this fragrance, followed by all the sweet, sugary, flan confectionery milkiness, followed by the density of the patchouli. And then you're gonna throw a little bit of rum in this joint. It feels like a French pastry gone overload, like, wow, so good. They were thinking of me when they made this fragrance a thousand percent. They were like, yo, Uncle Kuba's gonna love this shit. This is right up his speed. He's a mild alcoholic, and I would say mild because, you know, he doesn't go to meetings. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Sweet leathery booze with all the crystallized sugar on top of it. Oh, this is chef's kiss next one. This next spearmintish fragrance is Wild Daring. The name alone is super risky. The entire house has one of the most versatile, eclectic lineup. Nothing is redundant in that house. And this one, for me, being one of the first ones to be introduced to my nasal cavities, will have you smelling like a straight up slut by Aaron Tarrant Hughes. The blood orange, the blood mandarin in this scent is crazy. Then you sprinkle in vanilla. Then you throw in some musk. And then, spearmint or peppermint? There's layers, there's versatility, signature scent, four seasons, performance and sillage through the roof at arm's length. It's like walking around with a big bubble around you of sluttiness. And I should know, because I'm like the king slut. I'm sure you are. Very. Truth be told, a lot of interesting fragrances could have been put on this list because Aaron Terrence Hughes has that kind of variety in his lineup. Listen, there's a reason why the dude is sold out on the regular. Shit's crazy, but Slut is definitely one that you should start your Aaron Terrence Hughes journey on. And for anybody who comes over to the crib and looks at your collection, they're definitely gonna ask questions like, yo, why is that? Is that called Slut? <laughs> Yeah, it is. Next one. Well, the boys will like it. Now, this next one is also super new in my collection. I've only gotten minimal wears out of this joint because I feel that it has an essence that I want to really pull this off in the ultra hot weather. Think of coconut milk mixed with apple. We take a little bit of cinnamon, lo rayamo what arriba, just scrape it down with a little vanilla extract on top of a cedar plank. Noble 1942, La Danza de Lebilue. So apparently it's the dance of the dragonflies. I have no idea what it's about. Maybe it's a story, maybe it's something special. I have no idea, but the scent itself is wild. Talk about smelling the peel of the apple. And something about apple fragrances, this is the second one listed on this channel, really add this crisp liveliness to these perfumes. This one is beautiful. It's perfection. It's extraordinarily well balanced. It's fruity, it's milky, it's musky, it's sweet, spicy, woody. It's gorgeously balanced with an incredible bubble around you that just separates you from everybody else. There is no basic quality in here. It's not redundancy. You're not gonna smell bitchish. It has a unisex quality 100%. That milky coconut kind of vibe really starts to stand out right next to the apple. They're kind of battling hand in hand to see which one takes over, but eventually that battle comes to an end because they start dancing harmoniously together, just spinning each other around. It's like that beautiful melody of two people dancing just in synergy. That's the type of vibes that you're getting from this fragrance. Beautiful work of perfumery. It really has me way more intrigued to smell more stuff from Noble 1942 just because of this fragrance. So why deprive yourself the opportunity to smell something so harmonious and have you dancing like an all-star legend? <laughs> I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Let me know what are fragrances that you feel that the audience should absolutely try out at least once. If they're fans of perfumery, leave it in the comments below. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Smooches.